In a recent interview, Dylan White said that his opponent for July, and I think it's going to be in the first or second week of July when he's going to be fighting, is nearly finalized. They're just crossing the T's and dotting the I's and hope to make an announcement very, very soon. And he gave one clue as to who the opponent could be. It's not, uh, you know, a dead giveaway clue, but it is something of a clue. He said that the opponent is going to be in the top 10 and they're unbeaten. I think he said top 10, not top 15. You guys will correct me if I'm wrong. Most of you will have seen his recent interviews on IFL and uh, Boxing Social. So here we have the top 10 of the four major governing bodies at heavyweight. And let's look through who the unbeaten fighters are. Tom Schwartz is tied up with Tyson Fury, so it's not going to be him. Jarrell Miller's on a band, it's not going to be him. It's not going to be Fury, he's fighting Schwartz. Oscar Rivas. Now, I personally don't think it's going to be Rivas, and I'll tell you why. Rivas has had issues with his eyes. Now, I don't know if he's recently had laser eye surgery or anything like that, but he's had issues with his eyes, and that has made it difficult for him to get licensed in a lot of, Amer- a lot of states in uh, America. So that's been an issue ongoing for a long time. I believe he's slightly short-sighted. So that's been a problem when it comes to medicals. In the UK, the medical for the British Board of Boxing Control for professional boxing is generally even more stringent than it is in the United States. Now, they do make exceptions when they have high-profile fighters who come over and really shouldn't be granted a license, but occasionally the British Board do grant them a license, but yet they make it far more difficult for healthy fighters who are not as high profile to get their licenses. In the instance of Rivas, he's not really very high profile, is he? Uh, But maybe they might make an allowance. I don't know. But that's the reason I don't think it's going to be Rivas. I guess we'll find out in due course. But because of the fact that he has had issues with his eyes. Then we've got a Chinese heavyweight, Zhang. Isn't this the guy who fought Anthony Joshua in the Olympics? Joshua beat this guy up. I think it's this guy, Zhang. Could be wrong. That may be the guy who Dylan White is going to fight. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, unconfirmed yet. Then we have a guy called Spong. No, no idea who that is. Junior Far from uh, Australia. He's a possibility. Ajit Kabayel, I think, is definitely a possibility. I think this guy is one of the leading candidates for fighting Dylan White in July. Would I be disappointed in this fight? Yes. I mean, Ajit Kabayo is unbeaten. He's European champion. It's not a terrible fight. It's not like he's just fighting a complete pudding. But I would be disappointed because I'd rather see Dylan White fight somebody a bit more exciting, you know, a bit more relevant in the top 10 at the moment than an Ajit Kabayo. Uh Zhang, I'd also be disappointed in that, to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, because mainly out of my own ignorance because I haven't seen that much of Zhang. I haven't seen him fight as a professional at all, I don't think. I've seen him in the amateurs, obviously, but I don't think I've seen him as a pro at all. Rivas, I'd actually quite like if they could make that fight. Uh, Dylan White versus Rivas, I think that's a very interesting one. Fujimoto, this Japanese heavyweight, well, he's not unbeaten anyway, so it's not him. Uh, Jennings, it's not him. Romanov, never heard of him, I don't think, but he's unbeaten, so I guess it could be him potentially. Dubois, we know it ain't going to be him. We've got a Turkish heavyweight here. Not going to be him. Latte is not going to be him. All right, moving on over from the WBO to the IBF. Kaunaki, could it be him versus Dylan White? Potentially, but I doubt it. If it did happen, I would love that fight. Uh, Dylan White versus Kaunaki, I think, is a, a great, great matchup. Otto Wallen, I guess, potentially. Hellenius, no. Talked about Rivas before. Uh, Hunter's got a loss. Kuzmin, I think that could also be a possibility because Kuzmin has fought on a matchroom show before. You guys may remember he fought David Price on, I think it was one of the Anthony Joshua undercards, wasn't it? Was it the Povetkin? Oh, was it the Parker undercard? I think it was the Povetkin undercard that he fought uh, on. So maybe it could be Kuzmin. Hergovic is too early in Hergovic's career for that, I would imagine. Nobody else unbeaten there. Uh, Who else is here that we haven't? spoken about yo cast far too early for him i would imagine ivan ditchko i mean ivan ditchko said that he's ready to fight aj right now <laughs> he's ready to have that rematch you know because they fought in the olympics aj got the better of him he's ready to go again he's only seven and oh would he put himself forward for a dylan white fight would dylan white be willing to risk 
his position against the guy who's 7-0. and I doubt it'll be him. Trevor Bryan, it could be him, you know. It could be Trevor Bryan too. That's a Don King fighter. Uh, and it appears that Trevor Bryan will not be the replacement for Jerome Miller fighting Anthony Joshua simply because that's what Eddie Hearn has come out and said. So probably not going to be Trevor Bryan. <laughs> God, definitely not. It's not going to be a Kendo. He's not unbeaten anyway. Uh, who else is unbeaten here? Okay, that's it. So we've been through all of them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who are you guessing is going to be uh, Dylan White's opponent in July? Let me know in the comment section below what's happening about. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.